Hey everyone, so this question is on an optics concept called the thin lens equation, which is physics and 4D if you're following along with the AMC code. So go ahead and try this question on your own first, pause the video, and once you've given it your best shot, come back and we'll do this question together. Okay, so the first step for this question is to write out the thin lens equation. How do we know? Because they're telling us an object is placed on an axis of a thin convex lens, four focal lengths from the center, and then we're asked the ratio of the height of the image to the ratio of the height of the object. So right now they didn't give us any information about the heights, right? They just told us what we were looking for, which is height of image to height of object. And I always, always, always write the ratio out in the way that it is written in the answer choices. So that way I remember which value to put on the numerator and which one to put on the denominator. So since the height of the image came first, it goes on the numerator here. So before we even get to height of the image and height of the object, we first need to find the distance of the image. And since we're in focal lengths here, we're kind of going to use algebra. We're going to use uh, representations of numbers instead of actual numbers, um, and we're going to go ahead and do the equation that way. So let me show you what I mean. The equation is 1 over f focal length equals 1 over the distance to the object at plus 1 over the distance to the image from the center of the lens. So you can see here, right, we have distance object, distance image, and the focal length, right? And we know that if the distance of the object is four focal lengths, DO equals four focal lengths, then our focal length, right, must just be F. All right, so we have two of the three variables we need here, so we can solve for DI in terms of F. This will require some reciprocal fraction math, so we're gonna do that together. So 1 over little f, to show that it's the variable now, equals 1 over 4f plus 1 over di. We need to isolate di. So we subtract 1 over 4f from each side, right? Minus 1 over 4f, okay? I'm going to go ahead and rearrange this so that the focal length is in front. Easier math, right? equals 1 over di. So far so good, except remember our basic rules from I think elementary middle school, right? If we are subtracting or adding fractions, what do we need? A common denominator. Very good. So how do we get a common denominator? Well, we probably just need a 4 on the denominator, right? So we can multiply this 1 over f times 4 over 4, right? To get our common denominator. So it's 4 over 4f minus 1 over 4f all right, and that will equal, now we can just keep the common denominator on the bottom, so 4f, and then we have 4 minus 1 on the numerator, so that's 3. 3 over 4f's equals, not di, 1 over di, okay? It's very important when you're using fractions, reciprocals, reciprocal math, to make sure that you remember to flip the reciprocal at the end, right? 3 over 4f equals 1 over di, which means if we want di, we just need to flip the fraction and it will become 4 thirds over f or 4 thirds f, sorry. All right, so that's our di, but that wasn't our answer, right? So it's very tempting to be like, cool, 4 thirds, got it. Answer must be b. No, we got to slow down and remember what we were solving for, right? Which was the height of the image over the height of the object. Now, again, you're telling me, Amanda, we don't have heights. So here's a cool rule about thin lens equations is that the ratio of the height of the image to the height of the object is equal to the ratio of the distances. It's one of the principles of how thin, len thin lenses create images, all right? So you can use this as a rule on the MCAT, all right, this ratio relationship. And check it out, we have di in terms of f, and we have do, so we just need to plug it in. So let's go ahead and do that. Four thirds f is di over 4f is do. The f's cancel, the 4's cancel. We're left with a ratio of 1 over 3, which equals a. All right, so you'll see here there's three components for math skills that I want you to practice. Number one is ratios. Make sure that you're always setting up the ratio correctly 
with the first variable going in the numerator, second variable going in the denominator. Second, reciprocal math. Remember to flip the reciprocal right at the end. And finally, if you need some basic fraction work on common denominators and things like that, make sure you brush up on those skills because they'll be necessary for test day. The two pieces of content that you need to know on this thin lens equation question is the thin lens equation here and the ratio concept here. I hope that was helpful for you. As always, please leave any comments if you want to see more videos like this or more questions. Otherwise, thanks so much for joining me today and happy studying.